Recently, my clients have wanted to talk about executive presence. Executive presence is actually not about you. It's about how others experience you. You have to be intentionally present and courageous enough to take up your space in the world. You have to believe that you belong in the room, know your own value, and that you can and should have an impact. You speak up. You don't, however, dominate the conversation. You listen, you invite collaboration, and you appreciate the power of silence. And when you do speak up, people listen. Executive presence requires a highly developed emotional intelligence, the ability to have and experience an emotion and yet still act from your commitment and values. In other words, your behavior is appropriate and does not necessarily reflect what you're feeling. Vulnerability is the hallmark of an emotionally intelligent leader. People sense that you're comfortable with yourself and therefore they trust you. You treat people as equals and power plays do not occur in your sphere. You don't tolerate bad behavior and when it does happen, you give clear, appropriate feedback. Executive presence often shows up in how you handle challenges and stressful situations. You can model sound thinking and pause to get to the root of the issue. You don't make assumptions and you remain calm when others are panicking. At the heart of executive presence is that people feel seen, they feel heard, and they feel valued. Effective communication is a big part of executive presence. You are comfortable in your own skin and you don't fidget or have distracting body language while communicating. It's not really about you. Executive presence is about how others experience you. It's about others trusting you. It's about others knowing that they are seen and heard and respected. No one magically has executive presence. The people you see that have executive presence have been trained, they have been coached, and they've learned how to integrate learning.